we can be reminded. Mukinisikia mimi nikisema tunataka tubadilishe mfumo wetu tuanze na chini so that we can have a bottom going up ni kwa sababu neno la Mungu askofu ukisoma Psalms Zaburi moja na kumi na tatu mstari wa saba na nane neno la Mungu linasema Mungu Mungu atamwezesha ama ata atamtoa mnyonge kutoka mavumbini na Mungu atamweka huyo mnyonge fukara na maskini waketi meza moja na wafalme And so as we plan vile tunaongea vile tunapanga vile tutaungana na vile tutakabiliana na wapinzani wetu tukumbuke maneno ya saburi yanayosema hata wale wanyonge hata fukara na maskini Mungu atawainua wataketi meza moja na sisi tulio na uwezo one day and that is what we must focus as a nation Baba Skof mimi na furai sana najua hii eneo sasa wewe ndio utakuwa kusema na tutakuwa chini yako wakati nilikuja hapa wakati mwingine nilipata mungwana moja hapa akifanywa kuwa reverend nikaambiwa siku hiyo anaitwa kaloboto sijui <laughs> alafu baadaye nikauliza hii kaloboto ni nini nikaambiwa kuna namna fulani na wakati huo muli, kuna mambo mliniuliza na kwa sababu mimi ni mshirika wa kanisa hii na pia ni mkristo na watu wengi wako na shida na mimi sana kwa sababu ya matoleo kanisani lakini mimi nataka niwakumbushe matendo ya mtume 20:35 Paulo mwenyewe anasema And remember the words of Jesus Christ himself It is more blessed to give than to receive Those are not the words of the bishop those are not the words of the priest those are not the words of a saved person those are the words of Christ himself Uh, so mimi nilifurahi ya kwamba kuna kazi mmefanya nilikuwa nimesema ya kwamba nita eh, sababisha boho lijengwe hapa na iwekwe eh, vile mpaka ifanye kazi lakini leo niliuliza ule contractor ambaye aliwafanyia kazi akaniambia ya kwamba mulisema ile pump hamutaki pump ya kutumia stima kwa sababu bei yake iko chini mnataka pump ambaye inatumia sola kwa sababu bei yake iko juu <laughs> na nimekubaliana na nyinyi <laughs> nimeuliza nimeuliza reverend zioka hapa what is the problem akaniambia hapa kuna shida sana ya stima saji na inakuja ikienda So nimekubaliana na nyinyi na kwa sababu ni jukumu nilijitwika na ni lazima nikamilishe. Nikiondoka hapa eh, Reverend Zioka nitakupatia shilingi milioni moja. <coughs> oh, tayari tayari umepata hiyo pump. Namwambia huyo jamaa akuja aweke hiyo unataka ya sola na ukipata maji usimsahau 
Archbishop wa ABC. Eh. Nasikia wakati mmoja alikuwa wa AIC. So, ni kama kijana wa hii boma. So, na nasikia kwa boma yake haiko mbali na hapa. Kwa hivyo nataka niseme asante ni sana. Asante waheshimiwa, asante senator. Nimefurahi sana kwamba umechaguliwa na tuko marafiki vile umesema tumefanya kazi mingi pamoja na nimeshukuru sana kwamba unaombea rafiki yangu Kalonzo maombi na pia siku ingine ukumbuke kusema na hata huyu Ruto mkiomba ikibaki bakshishi kidogo <laughs> msimsahau ama namna gani <laughs> <laughs> so we 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 oh kwa, anasema kwa sababu nilikuwa hapa nijiombee mwenyewe <laughs> so nataka niseme asanteni sana nimefurahi kuwa hapa machakos na nitakuja tena kwa sababu sisi tunataka tuungane tushirikiane tufanye kazi pamoja na mimi nataka niwaambie msikue na wasiwasi Kenya nyi ni nchi ya Mungu. Hakuna lolote litakwenda kombo. Hii nchi Mungu atatupatia viongozi watakaofuata kutoka hapa. Don't worry. Mtu asiwatie hofu. God is in control. God is in charge. We will have peaceful elections. We will have a peaceful moment from now to 2022 and god is going to give us the leaders that will take this country to the next level maneno haya mengi nimepango tu ya siasa na nyinyi si wageni kwa mipango ya siasa si itapangwa tu namna hii alafu itaenda namna hiyo kelele kidogo hapa na pale alafu mambo itaenda sawa sawa tunaelewana so eh, mtu asiwatie hofu kwamba pengine kukawa kukaenda kukaharibika haiwezi kuharibika because we believe in god and god is a god of peace and order and there will be order and we will move forward as a country um, i agree with the leaders who have said this country is too important to be left to politicians alone men of god must stand in state to make sure that the voice of god is clear to all of us asanteni sana na watakia baraka ya mungu thank you oh sorry eh wakati nili nilikuja eh, governor wenu wa hapa eh,